Here's the best $1,000 gaming PC build of the month for November 2021. My name is Corey with GamingComputerBuild.com. For the $1,000 build, who's this build for? This is the uh, build that's for people that want to game at extreme settings at 1080p or at higher uh, resolutions as well in two, uh, 2K resolutions. Uh, also to note that um, this build is posted on the site at NewComputerBuild.com and we're going to get into the build in just a second and some hardware alternatives if you have a little more money to spend or want some alternatives in terms of what to spend your money on. But I do want to jump into if you haven't been keeping an update or uh, haven't been checking out the other videos that I'm posting this month, such as the $1,500 gaming PC build or the $800 or the $500 one. Uh, just check out the channel if you want to check those out or visit the site. Uh, Alder Lake CPUs have been released. This doesn't really come into effect right now with regards to these builds. This is the 12th gen Intel Core processor, the Alder Lake CPUs. The i5 uh, 12600K might come into play uh, with regards to replacing the CPU here. However, I don't think it'll be, uh, it might be a little while. Uh, just in, in terms of trying to squeeze it into a $1,000 budget, just because um, they're going to cost probably a little over what they should, given uh, just the nature of um, just given the nature of uh, the chip shortage and everything, and hardware prices over the last year in general. And secondly, uh, the motherboards, the compatible motherboards, are going to cost a little bit more. And then uh, things like uh, they will be compatible with DDR4 memory, but DDR5 memory has also been released. Um, but it does cost a little more than uh, current hardware. So overall, if you do want to go in all, with an Alder Lake system, you might be paying a bit of a premium at the moment. But will it be worth it? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Time will tell. But let's jump into the $1,000 gaming PC build of the month. For the processor, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X at $272.99 at the moment. Included is the Race Stealth cooler, uh, the stock cooler that's included with it. You can always upgrade that in the future. Motherboard we have is the Gigabyte B550 Gaming X motherboard at $99.99. Graphics card, theoretic, not theoretically, this one is available at this cost right now. At, uh, for $899.99, you can get a Power Color Red Devil AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT. Doesn't mean you can't purchase another 6700 XT. However, this one is priced decently at the moment, considering costs of graphics cards. An alternative card could be uh, something like the Radeon RX 6600 XT for about $750. Uh, so we can save you about 175 bucks or so, if but and it would still perform pretty good as well, given supply levels. Uh, I mean, if you can't find this one or 6700 XTs in general, or want to spend a little less, memory Crucial Ballistics 3600 megahertz kit of 16 gigabytes of memory, 84.99. Uh, storage is a Crucial P2 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD, 44.99. Power supply EVGA G5 650 watt power supply. $78.99, and then to wrap it all together, we have the Fantax, uh, Fantax Eclipse P300A, a fantastic budget case, $69.99, uh, and all together, this should come in, yeah, I mean, if the cost is as is, $1,587.94, that's what the current GPU costs, uh, so you might be asking me, $1,000 build, why is it $1,587, the $1,000 build is that theoretical um, budget, if graphics cards would cost what they should be. I know it's been a while since they have, but um, so you can get it for, in that case, just over $1,000 if it was around MSRP. But given hardware, the price is the way they are right now. It's just the way it is. Also to know, November is a good month to build PCs in general because some hardware does go on sale during things like Black Friday or Cyber Monday. So things like memory, storage, power supplies, cases, things like that, you might be able to get for a good deal, especially if you want alternatives to what's included here. Speaking of alternatives, let's go down some upgrades to the $1,000 build. You could add an alternative cooling, such as this Be Quiet Pure Loop on a 120 millimeter liquid CPU cooler, $84.90. So if you do want to overclock it a little more and uh, keep the temperatures down. If you want a better graphics card, I would suggest something like an RTX 3070 if you can get your hands on one, about $1,170 to about $500 uh, if it were to cost MSRP, but uh, realistically more around this. Storage. Get more storage with the Crucial P2 one terabyte NVMe SSD, $83.99. And then if you want a CPU upgrade, Ryzen 7 5800X for $386.99. If you want to really push that, this would be, it, if I would probably guess, if you're doing a little more in the gaming, uh, but it would be great for gaming, maybe even a little better for gaming, but uh, good for other things like uh, multitasking, uh, things like uh, video editing and, and stuff like that. But uh, that, yeah, that does it for the $1,000 build for November 2021. If you have any comments, uh, leave them in the comments below or visit the site at newcomputerbuild.com. Best of luck building.